Okay, here we are. Going to make a scrunchie. This is a good first lesson to try as it gets you used to using the hook, how to hold the, the yarn in your hand. You're doing a very basic chain stitch and trying a single crochet as you attach these chained loops to an elastic. And I like to use a coordinating elastic, nice thick ones that won't um, stretch out very easily. So here I have an orange elastic and I have a, a whole ball of yarn, but it's a good way to use up a little end of yarn too. I may go ahead and post the video where I made this one as well. I begin by tying with leaving a tail the yarn to the elastic. Now if you're not familiar with how to hold the yarn, I'll show you how I hold it. Um, there is no right or wrong way, there's just what people more commonly use. I have the yarn, drape it through my little finger and it comes across the palm of my hand and over my forefinger. Alright, so grab it kind of thing on the inside of my little finger, wrap it around the back and come back over the top of my forefinger so that I hold the project and as you see the forefinger kind of controls the tension between the project and the ball of yarn. So with that attached and practicing holding this um, I'm using a where is it? Focus. I think it's just a five millimeter hook. I'm trying to show it there. It's not showing up very clear. Oh well. The yarn isn't attached yet to the hook. So I'm going to just loop it around. So it's as if there is a loop on the hook. And I'm going to go through the middle of the elastic to pick up the yarn the other side and pull it through. So now I've got two loops on my elastic, on my hook, I'm sorry. And then pull the yarn through. I've in essence done a single crochet onto the elastic. Now you chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got ten chains, and what I'm going to do is you can see there's a loop on the hook. I'm now going to copy what I did first off. I'm going to take the hook, go through the middle of the elastic, pull the yarn through. So I've got two loops on there and do a single crochet and it's attached the other half of the loop and I'll continue to chain and I'll move my fingers up so I can control the piece of work six seven eight nine ten so it doesn't matter that this is dangling down here I'm trying to keep my fingers close to where I'm working because if I was holding down here it's kind of hard to get that control. I've got all this loose stuff. So the closer to the hook and the project um, where you're working, the, the better control it will be. So there I am attaching it again. And I'll chain 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> and again, one loop on the hook, 
go through the elastic, pick up a second loop, and then pull the yarn through both loops as a single crochet and chain 10. Oh, I lost count, but that's okay. This is very forgiving. Just as well having to mess with all this stuff tangle in it. And again, attach it, single crochet. Gosh, don't like spending all this time from unraveling a funky old knot. Now notice also that I have control of the piece. I'm not just letting it flop around and wondering why it's hard for me to get it. I've got my fingers in there, I'm holding it tight so that when I put my hook through, it's not all loose. The same with doing the chain stitches. Move your fingers up. I'm still keeping my finger in there so it's not just hanging, but it doesn't matter. I'm just keeping it out of the way and I'm holding my piece of work and continuing to chain. You can do some short, some long, it doesn't matter. These are very forgiving projects as you learn to hold the yarn, create correct tension for the stitches so they're nice and even because this will come into play when you're making projects that you want to wear like hats and scarves or make blankets you want that consistency in the stitches you can pause it rewind it if I'm going too fast it's okay you can Pause me and rewind it, it's fine. So again, the hook has one stitch, go through the middle of the elastic, pull the second loop through, and then pull, I guess a third loop, if you want to call it that, through both. And then chain again. If some are longer, some are shorter, doesn't matter too much. You can do them that way on purpose. The point is, is that the loops enable the elastic still to stretch while you're making fun hair ties for girls who want to have some fun with putting their hair up in ponytails and such like.
probably about 30 loops I think is what I've counted before as you can see I'm kind of putting them together you know so they're nice and snug but not so bunched up that it's so heavy and you know it's all the elastic can do to bloom and hold all the yarn that you've looped onto it so I'll do a few more of these because once it's wound round someone's hair it's not going to show so if you use the end of a um, ball of yarn and it leaves a big old gap it doesn't really matter because it's all going to be bunched up in their hair anyway whereas this one as you can see there was just enough yarn that it seems to be nice and even so this one I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap and I'll show you that it doesn't really matter I'll chain one more set perhaps This isn't too knotted and won't come and let me. Right. There we go. Alright. Actually, I'll do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So once you've got your last row of ten, you're going to do the single crochet to attach it to the elastic, just like normal. And then I'm going to pull a little bit of a tail just so it doesn't come undone while I cut the yarn. It doesn't need to be very long. All right, so now I've got this extra loop and my little tail. I'm going to pull the tail through the loop just to tie it in a knot. And now I've got my two tails, the one I started with and the one I've just finished with. So I'm going to scoop them together so that they can be tied and not make a big long string in the middle. I want them close to each other. I'm just going to tie them three or four times and it doesn't matter that it's a, a knot all bunched together there I'm going to cut it fairly close throw those away and as you can see even though there's a little bit of space once you get the loops evened out look at that I thought I'd left a lot of space but it made it nice and even. So as you can see here, and I'll count the loops. This is the knot. See, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, about twenty-three loops. So that's not quite thirty, but that's all right. There you go. A couple of hair elastics ready to be worn and have fun with it.